It's the one design that I know of um, that we're not actually bothered about the intellectual property being copied. It took, it took Rob three years to make this. Yeah, honestly. Okay, it just about killed me. But here we have the corkscrew. We think it might be the cork biggest corkscrew in the world. If any of you know different, do let us know. I'm going to try and find out. But our court's group tries to do a little bit extra. It's going to try and present me with a glass of wine which I'm going to be able to sample and taste and hopefully find acceptable for further consumption. <laughs> so what we do is we, we, we place the bottle in this little clap, uh, clamp here and we set the bottle to a little arrow there um, and then that's done with it. You can take any type of wine bottle as long as it's got a cork. On the side here we've got a glass glass on this little platform and we set uh, the height of the glass to the top of this old fishing arrow here and then as long as it's at that height the corkscrew should have the chance of getting the wine into the glass when we come to it. So all we have to do now is wind the handle. The corkscrew is coming down onto the bottle, it's located the top of the bottle. And now through these two old spanners, you'll notice that all the things in this machine are old things. There's an old bell, there's a cannonball, fishing arrow, that's an old drill. There are loads of spanners all over the place. These are all old cocks and wheels out of all sorts of old machines. Um, we, the, the spanners are now pushing the cork screw down into the bottle, turned into the cork. And the lever here it actually has just reversed, so I just keep winding the same way, but now the machine is going in reverse. And these spanners are opening out in the classic scissor action, which is uh, very gently removing the cork from our very fine bottle of wine presented by Ed Wado. That one's very good, wasn't it? Let's go. So we've got the cork out. <laughs> we're now, we've just got to remove the cork from the corkscrew because the cork's done with now. And Rob's fanatical about his housekeeping, so he's going to remove the little cork, pop it in the little pot. <laughs> and at that stage, my work is done. Um, I'm going to actually ask, I'm going to ask you guys to have a go. Uh, it just needs a few more turns. This is my wine. Don't break it, James. Okay, that's, that means that it's ready to pour. You just need to make a couple more turns until you hear a big clunk, and then you leave it. You go with a big bang. And okay, then we leave it. You won't believe it, they've done it again. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking that back when you were I'll come back. You guys have a nap. Here we go. Stand back. 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 That was, you know, oh, that, that was the best yet. That was the best yet. That was the best yet. Thank you so much. Yeah, 20 minutes later. That's one of the most delicious ways of making South Africa. Come and drink it.